Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for this day, the beautiful day you give us today, Lord. We thank you for all the blessing you give us in this life, and also give us the wisdom to do all the right decisions that we make for this city and town, to make the citizens of this town proud of us, and help us to remember you that you are the one that we have to look up to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good to see everyone out today. Like they said, it was a, it's a beautiful day. Um, we're going to get started off. I'll, I'll go ahead and start off. And uh, had had a lot of complaints about these cheers in here. Uh, they're pretty dirty, and we're going to upgrade those cheers. And uh, somebody somebody will bring it up tonight. We're going to buy about 100 cheers to go in here because when we have court in here, we need extra cheers. You know, normally for the council, we we run about 60 cheers. With a few on each side, but when they have court, they have to put more cheers out to uh, to accommodate that. So, anyway, it's 100 cheers, and I think they're about $21 a piece. So, that's what we're going to do on that. Uh, the next thing I have is uh, over on uh, Rainbow North, uh, we're having some sewer issues over there. And uh, from Manhole, this is phase one, Manhole 11 to 111. Uh, it's going to cost about $7,500 plus the rock cost. And so I've got Kevin Brown excavation doing that. The other thing is uh, we're having some trouble with another sewer line in around uh, Lofton Street uh, and going down into the Kilgore area there in the uh, uh, where the cleaners is at. That, that area right there, we're having some problems there. So I've got Johnny Clem looking at that, and we're going to approve that tonight to get him to uh, to do that if uh, if it goes through the council. Okay. So that's the three things that I had. Uh, we'll just start off with Marshall and work our way down. I don't have anything. Okay. Uh, Brandon. First of all, my first thing I've got on here is a quote for cameras that we're trying to put in at the park since we've got the new memorials and stuff from the Veterans Memorial and the Police and Fire Memorial we're going to do. We've got a bid from FTC and it's kind of like, that's about what we did at Field of Dreams. It's approximately on their estimates $2,580. I'm going to bring that to see if we can go ahead and pass that through. How, did, how does that work uh, when you got different locations? goes off the DVR you have to have a point to point camera. You gotta have your main part that's got your signal and they got a camera that can feed the street view off of that. So you gotta have a line inside. How much it costs to put one for Tornado Memorial at all? I don't know. We'll have to check with them and see, I'm not for sure. So you have to have an internet connection there to be able to uh, run it off of. So yeah. we'll just have to get somebody to come out and look at that over there about you know how to how to make those connections up. Well, if y'all don't care to look into that, okay. I think we got some money to pay for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got some money to pay for it. <laughs> and and on that uh, tornado memorial, um, we may be able to use um, some stuff that's already there, so we'll we'll give them a look at it. Okay. All right. And second, I want to congratulate Plainview. They finished second in area last week, so they'll advance to regionals in Florence Thursday and Friday, hopefully Friday. Everything goes good Thursday. But we'll be heading out from there Wednesday. So I want to congratulate them and then go ahead and make like a donation like we did when they do make it to the playoffs that we can kind of help them with their travel expenses and stuff for hotels or what have you over there. All right. That's all I have. Ricky? Mary, first thing I have is uh, we're going to just fire us with an 86 mile apart uh, truck that we have as a ton truck. We're going to declare it a surplus. That's the, one of the first trucks that goes back a long way. Back when I was in the county for the first time. So, 30 something years old, 300 some odd thousand miles on it. So, we're going to replace it what it is. It's the one we used our 
carried a pie for Sylvania and dumpsters and stuff. So we're going to get rid of it tonight because it's well done its dues. We're going to replace it with a 1999 F-350, uh, approximately $14,000. The other thing I have is down at uh, the side peak of Taters. It's a lot of houses in there now that they built back in there. It's real dark. Uh, so I like to change that light right there to where we can change it to an LED and where it'll light that up a lot of where we can see to turn in there. It's hard to see to turn in there. And the other thing I've been talking with uh, Dr. Barnett, Jason Barnett, <coughs> our dumpsters uh, working with the trade school. Schools just to be out, but they are welding problem down there when they do their welding and their training for those <coughs> children down there. They're already doing this over in Cherokee County. And instead of just with welding a couple pieces of metal together, they're building them over in Cherokee County and we're trying to partner up with them the way we did some of that other key uh, to where they build our dumpsters down there. Uh, and Jason is gonna try to work on that to where maybe when school gets started by it, we can get those children involved in building our dumpsters. And you know, that would fit right in with the built in the cow. You could probably go a step further and probably have them there talk to the auto body department and paint them. And they could probably paint them while they're right there. Yeah. That's, that's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So it saved us a lot of money. Did a lot of good training in the school for them uh, in their welding in the process. So he's going to try to get that worked out between now and school starts back. So I just want to give y'all an update what we're doing with that. It saved the city a lot of money because we won't have to be paying a lot of transportation for the dumpsters being brought in, which eats our lunch right now. Plus, then, you know, it being made here in DeKalb County would be sort of cool, uh, made by our children. So that would be pretty good. So just to give you all an update, that's sort of what we're working on with that. I got three other places that we cut the road. One of them over there, over there on Wade Street, yeah, and that sewer extension that you're working on over there. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, uh, one down on Browns Chapel, we had to replace a tile. Then there's one over on uh, Chambers Avenue. And so those are going to run about $3,000 to have those asphalted back and repaired back. So I'll be bringing that to you tonight. And uh, that's pretty much it. What else you know? You want me to find you something to do? Okay, please go. Uh, on the library, every summer we get the seasonal work, as we call it. We mm -hmm. don't work maybe, what, three months, two and a half months, something like that, 20 hours a week, part time. And Sarah's been interviewing several people, and we found out the decision she made was uh, a girl by the name of Prue <coughs> Callahan. <coughs> I'm going to bring that up to go ahead and hire her and get her started for the summer library work. Okay. And uh, I talked to Mr. Uh, Representative Redbury about giving us some money to pay, uh, paint the railing around the uh, memorial. And he <coughs> told me the other day that he, got, he got me $2,000. I think we got one code already for eighteen hundred dollars. We're gonna maybe get another code or two. But right now this looks like we're looking at eighteen hundred dollars. So this money coming from Mr. Redbird. Okay. Can we have the extra two hundred up the park for dinner again? Is it donated or is it Yeah, it's donated from there. Yeah, we won't have to worry about that. It's kind of place to use and also, uh, I was giving you all an update on Shaggy's Bridge. They uh, set the girls down about a couple of weeks ago and they started uh, uh, what we call a slap on the top. So 
wants to stop the deal, then basically that 90% of the bridge is gone. So uh, I talked to the foreman the other day, and his thinking or hoping to have it done before the school starts, and maybe sooner. But right now, I'm just shooting for August. And I'll say, Mr. Ayers maybe went down there and put some pictures and stuff up yeah, there, he did. and it was pretty neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, I'm going to bring out that hammer chair that you want to. I got them right here. Four so chairs, $2,100. You, you it don't matter. You can't put those. It's $2,100 for how many mm -hmm. years. I guess that's all I got. All right. Mr. Dawson. <clears throat> Mayor, we're going to be uh, uh, having bids for uh, a bid with the fire department. Uh, says the city of Rainsville the fire rescue will be accepting bids for the purchase of a pre-2000 model Humvee equipped with a diesel engine for less than 50,000 miles. Must have a wild land skid unit with a 250 gallon tank and 120 gallons per minute pump. Bids will be open May the 14th at 4 o'clock. Um, bids will be accepted at Rainsville City Hall. I might need to change that time because y'all close at, City Hall closes at 4. So how about we change the time from 3 o'clock? Uh, we'll change that time to three o'clock. Would that be okay? That's fine. Okay. So that'll be out, and that gives us what seven days, I believe. So we'll yeah. uh, be bringing that up tonight. Uh, next thing uh, we got to do uh, our normal annual uh, hose and ladder testing. That's normally around. 2100, I believe, for uh, the annual, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 22 just in case. Uh, so it'll be $2,200. That's an annual ladder test and hose test we have to do every year. I'll be bringing that to you as well. Um, also, we're gonna accept Tony Blackwood's resignation at the police department as of 5 1 19. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's took care of as well. We did have one have one that's going to be leaving uh, the fire department um, due to another position and I was also going to open up the fire fire position tonight too but I'm going to wait and hold off and probably get that get that letter official uh, from Chief Wright so whenever I get that I'll, I'll bring that up. Mr. Black will probably say he got a job to be a state trooper here. No. I, think he just, I don't think he got a state trooper job. He got okay. another he got a, actually the only thing that's nothing to do with police construction construction. No, I was told he got a job being a state trooper. Yeah. Okay. So I believe that's uh I believe that's all I got. Okay. So on the Humvee, like what do we get? You're just gonna I don't how does that work? It's a brush truck basically what it is. Uh, right now, the truck that we have, you can't even get it off the road without getting stuck, so that's why we stay busted. This truck, we're able to get off the road and do what we need to. So I don't problem. understand about except you're going to, you haven't found We one. have to, we have to, we found some, but you have to bid it, right? So you got to say, hey, you know, we're taking bids. You just, how, what's the ballpark cost? We found one, what, it was 26, 26,000. So we're actually coming out. Oh, that's one. Actually, that's trading. Actually, that's trading. That's actually trading what we're. They just sold one and it dropped to fifty some odd thousand, and actually the replacement with one was like twenty five to twenty six thousand. You're looking probably twenty six. Oh, we sold one for fifty grand. So, yeah. oh, we're making we're money. Making money. <laughs> what it is so is the truck is actually be able to use, be used off the road, like he's talking about for brush parts. So. Yeah. Trust good that we sold. I mean, it's just we, it's not for our needs really. So, uh, we can't get it off the road. So this truck that we'll be purchasing will be a lot easier for our fire department to get off and, and put out brush fires or brush piles or whatever field fires wherever we need. Um, so and it's not really coming out. And there's no no extra money coming out of the budget. So this is actually covering everything. Right. Um, so makes sense. Makes sense. Well, fun. I mean, if we sold one, you got fifty grand. You Chief's done a real good job on it. He has been 
looking around and found a couple, but we have to, just like I said, we have to figure this thing out. So, trying to see what fits our needs here for the city. Okay. That's all I got. Chief Smith. Everything's going well. Um, nothing really to talk about for right now. The memorial's pretty, what you say, 90% done? Yes, sir. Um, Eighteenth, what two time is it? Two o'clock. May eighteenth, two o'clock. Okay. Right. Chief Rock. Good things go to the fire department. As Councilman Rawson said, the uh, hose and uh, ladder testing uh, coming up. Be at the uh, Coliseum starting week of May the twentieth. Be several departments. I see several fire trucks out there doing hose and ladder testing. Um, also, ISO. One of the big reasons we do hose and ladder testings is back in DeKalb County. It's been five years since we've been evaluated. Um, they're hoping to have every department in DeKalb County done by July. Uh, we do not have our date yet, um, but they are in the area, so we're getting ready for that. Um, the uh, fire science program, they'll be doing their skills and certification tests Thursday at the fire department. Representative from the fire college will be here administering those tests and stuff. And we should have, uh, looks like numbers for next year are looking to be between 15 to 20 students. Um, so we could double numbers from this year to next year in that program. And uh, it looks like we should have at least eight of the nine students uh, finishing with one C at least one CRI this year. Awesome. So everything's going very well. You'd recommend keep doing it, right? I would. There you go. Okay. Yes, sir. We're getting ready for our summer reading program. Registration runs through May. Reading will start in June. And we have a calendar. If you notice, we have an extra calendar. We've actually started adding some young adult and adult programs. Um, so we've had interest in also. Um, if you have any questions on any of the programs, they'll be happy to answer. One thing that's not on there is a super secret story time we're doing. We actually have a mystery guest coming. I think we'll meet a couple in the park one morning to read a book to the kids. So if any of you want to volunteer, just take a <coughs> We don't tell anybody who it is until they get there. You say adult, how about the age you're talking about? I'm sorry? The adult, and you're talking about mm -hmm. being an adult? The adult program? Yeah. I was going to bring Rick here with us. Okay. <laughs> Well, we've got some programs. You can do some scrapbooking. Um, well, you can't come to the self-defense. One of the things we're doing this year also is uh, Mr. Mendoza down at the Black Bell Academy. We're going to do two classes, one for girls ages 7 through 13, and then one for girls 14 and up. And he's actually going to do self-defense classes for girls, especially with all that's going on right now. Um, and it's going to be very hands-on. He's told them, expect to come, and you're going to be doing some fighting. Everything's ready at the chamber. Right now, I'm working on Freedom Fest. So, that's almost here. Almost here. You almost know, here. Time flies. You Next know. week, it'll be here. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, everything's going great. If you need to ride up there and look, you can see the difference where they've not probably over halfway with the power and everything. It's already done. Right. Already... I'll ride right up there tomorrow and check it out there. You can tell it'll be a lot better. I keep telling all our vendors that it's going to be a lot better. This oh, there's tomorrow. no doubt. Because I said, you don't have to worry about power tripping or. Before we run all those cords and everything. We can run our plans this year. <laughs> we'll run we hope. Yeah. What is the farmer's market? Oh, farmer's market will open <coughs> the first Thursday in June, so next month. Yeah. Councilman Byron, is, 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 is the garbage thing sorted? Yeah. The uh, cleanup month has started. Uh, and we're reasonably close to start, I think, on the 6th, Mark. Today yep. is today. Today. They started coming last week. So we ain't going to turn nobody away. So we'll bring anything and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, our and we will have somebody there on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, from six. Aren't they open till 6th, taking it till 6th? I'm sorry? Aren't they taking it till 6 mm -hmm. Yeah, taking it till 6 o'clock. 
thing I forgot to mention, uh, the Alabama Department of Transportation has purchased a new sweeping truck with a vacuum system on it. If you notice up down the curves, they brought it to Rankle a couple of weeks ago and they vacuumed and swept all those curves real good. Uh, and he says that they're gonna do that two or three times a year. You'll see a lot of grit and dirt and a lot of things get in our curves and we take a lot of pride in the way them guys does that, mows that, trims that. And the Department of Transportation now is sweeping all that and making it look that much better. So I appreciate what they're doing there. Uh, it makes, sure, makes the town look good. Easy at the Ag Center, uh, we had the uh, Alabama High School Rodeo. I don't know if any of y'all went by, but we was uh, <coughs> packed. We had, uh, I think we had six, maybe six, maybe six RV spots that we didn't use and uh, probably could have used those, but uh, been busy. I don't know, like I said, uh, Phil Green's had a big tournament. You couldn't get in anywhere in Rainbow. Mm -hmm. And uh, had paint, a uh, paint horse show this last weekend. We had a bull sale coming Saturday and graduation. So, as soon as the graduation is over, we got her open. So we're busy for the month of May. We are still taking applications for resumes to uh, hopefully hire somebody in the near future. So. On that resumes and applications, I've read about that. People's asked me, will that be, and I hadn't had a chance to ask the mayor about this, will they be, will, are y'all, if it's going to be contract labor, or will they be a city employee, or how will that work? They'll work for the PBA for the accident. No benefits. It's just salary. Like just maybe. Just be a salary. And they will not be a city employee. But will will we have any say? I mean, we'll have say, right? Why would you? Well, we'll be giving them money. Yeah. We're they're contracting with us, just like it states in all the the literature for it. They'll be contracted to us and. Uh, We'll be paying them so much for that contract, you know, between us and them, and we don't have any say so about the employee or the benefits or anything. We don't have any benefits or anything with them. Well, they're going to file a one c three, or it's not a nonprofit. Oh, well, I mean, it might be nonprofit, but it's not a file a one c three. I mean, yeah. we're giving them money. It's just a contract. Between I mean, I, I noticed it. I realized I took it that it wasn't going to be. Well, it, it just goes back to the to the bylaws of how it was set up a long time ago, and that's the way it was stated a long time ago. And so we're trying to get back to that point. Now they may have to become a five hundred three C. You know, they may have to. I, I don't know about that, but that's the way we're wanting to move it because we don't want that employee to be a city employee. Well, yeah, I understand okay. why y'all don't. So, so it keeps well, me you not want to go? No, we need. Okay. If they're not a city employee, we have. We need to say so. We need but to it's not. It's, it's, on it's on. not. If, we're, if they're not a city employee, then we don't need to. Well, if we need to say so. We need some help with our name. That's right. <laughs> I mean, you're ready to right, go I mean, right now we will go out the door and go with them. I, I need you. So whoever wants yeah. to go, let's go. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you volunteer for the job? No, I did not. No, we didn't. Either. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, he can walk off now, and he's not getting paid. That's, That's exactly, exactly, exactly right. right. So. Yeah. Well, he's he's doing doing if you want to take his place, you go and take his place. I didn't make it. He's, he's doing this out of the goodness of his heart, is what he's doing. So, Anytime you don't come, it's aired on and I kept up my air. I thought you kept calling you time to. He was up there at 11 30 night. Just I stayed all night. I mean, up. the truth wants to be known. I was there all night Friday night. I left at 5 o'clock. I went to the rodeo with my boys. I was back at 5. I left at 11. Back Sunday morning at 5. That's Sunday at 2. Yeah. My hat's off this, too. Yeah, my hat. You and the board both. This well, because I know yeah, this I mean, guy spent a lot of time up there. I know you spent a lot of time up there. This contract will be worked out through the attorneys. All that will be worked out when we get ready to do that. It's, there's no contract right now with it, and and we're not, you know. But we still give them money. Y'all subsidize us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we subsidize it. Is that? My advice that I tried to give Eric was take a leave of absence from the board and get paid. I mean, you're working. A real job plus doing that, I said, to me, they'd be compensated for it. Another yeah, question I had. How many hours you put in up there last month, Eric? Over 300. Well, that's great that he does it, but he's sitting here saying, well, I volunteer. Well, I did not. Does, so I don't like complain. I'm, I complain to hell. 
I ain't volunteered for nothing. I'm doing this to keep it going. Yeah. I am not. I didn't volunteer. It got dumped in my lap. You're the one that said one time that I got a bad card. I got, you know, I got <laughs> it, and that's what I've got. I've got it. I've got it. No? Okay. All right, let's move on. Why don't you go down there and run it for let's, a while? Let's move on. Somebody. Hey, I forgot to bring up one thing. You don't want it. Wait a second, wait a second. We'll come back to you in just a minute. Yeah. Uh, okay. You want to say anything about the memorial? Yes. It is 90% done. There's been a lot of hard work go into that in the last two weeks. Easy. By the grace of God, we have got it to this point. And these guys have been down there with me working. We've had Sandy or Stacy and Dalton Sanford helped us. Nate helped us. Jenny Smith. It has been, I mean, we were out there in the cold. You're talking about, and Derek was there, he was in, and it was cold that day. We poured concrete in the rain, covered it up so we could fix it. So we've been working hard, and it's going to be ready next week. They've been doing a good job. And it looks great. Yeah. We've just got to do the, um, the lock, and there's been a lot of hard work going into this. And if you're talking about you want to pay some people, mm -hmm. Right here. Um, I didn't say nothing to you. You want to start paying volunteers? Right here you go. <laughs> I didn't say nothing to you. I think she started staring at the point and asked Johnson. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, right. you know, so anyway, with that, I'm done. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all all for what you do. Uh, a lot of volunteer people here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spending their time and here and here and back. Okay. Derek, you said you had yeah, something Yeah, I forgot to bring up. I apologize. Um, started May 1st to October 31st, no burn. So, if you got a question about anything, about burning or whatever, I, I, right now? No it's burn, burn ban, yeah. It's uh, air quality, way <laughs> down. So, I guess you can get on the website and check out what you can and what you can't burn. I think you still can have campfires, but you just can't have big brush fires. Yeah. Uh, you ain't making it. There, I think, I <laughs> I'm just, I looked at it because I had some questions myself. You know, I was like, well, we take, you know, typically what can you burn? You know, I know you can't just say like, shut it down. So you just can't burn big, big brush piles or no household garbage. No household garbage. You uh, can't burn that anytime. Right. Anytime, ever. And, uh, <coughs> you know, I've seen a couple of places that's okay. been burning around town. Uh, just so you know. They just got in time, then. Yeah. Just so you know, if, you know. Burn something, get caught, and that's that's on you. Um, and I don't think us in the city will go out and, and monitor. I guess if you call the fire department, they may go out there and say something to them. But that's per a down, right, Chief? That's per a down. Yeah. We, we don't have any. Does, uh, and it's crazy. It has, it has, has, it has zero to do yeah. with uh, the moisture in there or anything like that. It's got to do with air quality. But what's so crazy oh, about it is the Cap County's in it, Jackson. and Jackson County's not. And you get paid. You just got a couple. That, that, to me, I don't know. That don't make sense to me. Well, Are we going to monitor the A&M out of Decatur? We, yes, and but the, the air quality division that we fall under is in Birmingham. Um, Don Barron yeah. is the guy that's over that. But, um, we just want to get that out. And then they say the county, county is, is due to the correlation around uh, Chattanooga, Atlanta, and Birmingham. is what causes all that. I just want to get that out, Mayor. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. We will take about a 16 minute break. Mm.